I'm not, that? I'm not in favor of upzoning, so. Okay. But you guys all know that. Any comments? Any other comments? I'm not in favor of upzoning it in the central district. No, and if, if you want to go I'm through ready. the process and I'm ready. Line, then I would like to see it change the boundary or annex into the southern area, then have them file the subdivision or plan. Well, that would be part of it. If, it, if you guys approved it tonight, it would have to move to the southern. That's what this. And then we would have to come back with. This That's what that condition says right there is that would uh, become. Well, Council Member Farrell is probably saying is realign the boundary first and then let those properties come in and annex or uh, rezone. That's what I. That's what I wonder if we ought to look at the whole thing. That's what I was saying earlier. Because this isn't days. just going to talk about this parcel. I mean, it's talking about where we are going to make the boundary change from it's, it's twenty not, to five. It's not really. As you get further west, the water table, get close to the river, the water table changes. So I don't know if it goes all the way to the mitigation problem. Do they have a real pressing deal on this right now? That is a, that is a. He would just like to get it done before the whole thing goes through on the bypass road. The city's just been there and talked to him several times and he would like to get this done. City's been talking to him about? About getting the additional um, 35 feet for that. Oh, all oh, that piece, okay. The piece we talked about, not that. that Talk to about annexing this. I don't want to try to throw that out there. Yeah, well, when you said that, yeah, no, no, just the three feet we already discussed. And then the only other thing is just to kind of answer your question on getting it into Southern first, from our standpoint, there's no application for that. The only application we can submit is to result. You're, you're at the mercy of whenever we decide to look at the planning area. There is an application, it'd be a general plan amendment, yeah, map amendment. Yeah. But, but we could do that, right? You could do that, but we'd have to go through and advertise that specifically. For Why not? To me, you're doing the same thing. You're just you're just telling these guys we don't want to do it right now, which is fair enough if that's how the majority feels. Well, by the way, we're we're minus one member. You'll need four votes still, four votes in the affirmative to get any anything, either approval or, or denial. So you have the option to pull that back and wait till we have a full council, or or you can go ahead with what we've got. So it's up to you. We have held the public hearing on it, yeah. but it's really up to your... So if it fails, we wait until next July to resubmit. Yeah. And if we wait, we just revote. Doug, if we, if we said, and I don't know what the, pers the deal is, I like, I like what's been said about review in this area and decide where we move, make the new line, because that was my thought when I looked at it. Could his application just hold until we did that, or would he have to? Well, I think I think where he's got a pending application, and we could say that we're not going to require them to wait until next July. Um, but that's what I'm getting at. Could we just continue this until we get the other process done, so they just have to resubmit? He doesn't have to do all of that. Because if we change the boundary and move it into the, I guess what we're saying is what would be the new area, then we could go ahead and move forward with the application. That's, I think, what I'd prefer to do is evaluate the whole area because I don't want to see it clear to the river unless that's what we decide where we want it to be. Are you in a big hurry? Like I said, the biggest, the thing pushing is the bypass road. I know Ravi's had the city talk to him a couple of different times. Um, I haven't been in there in, in those conversations. I mean, how long, I guess, how long is that going to take? Because I imagine that's going to be quite a process. Yeah, it's not going to happen next year. Probably a few years. Can we, can we do that, Doug? Well, I think a few years. I kind of worry that if we do that, then we'll be sending notice to the property owners, and uh, I'm I'm guessing that will migrate to the north of 650 North, and we'll have people. I'm just wondering if that's going to be a Pandora's box type thing. Yeah. Well, I think what Steve was saying from looking at it, though. The property to the north of 650 is definitely different. It's it's more there's a high water table there, isn't there, Steve? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. So we're not. Uh, we're I saying going to pull it up because when I went, went out there, what's that canal? Is that the Spring Creek Canal that goes down through there? I think so. If we looked at the canal, is the breaking point going west? Yeah, this property's on the west of the canal. Huh? No, it's, there's another canal further, just in front of that big house. 
before you get to the big house. Yeah, it's called Spring Creek on. Oh, on. clear down, clear down by the river. Will you pull the zoning mark back up? There you go. The uh, other one that shows the. Yeah, that lower canal, that that feeds that lower Charleston, doesn't it? You're talking about down here. Yeah. This canal. Yeah, see, that's all out That is the sage. The canal, the, the Spring Creek, Sage Bridge Spring Creek is up by the medicine. And that runs down the key corner through that old Sherm Drive property. That came it comes right across here. So, yeah. no, that's Spring Creek is the canal. canal. Is that right in here? Yeah. How far are we from that city boundary? Boundary's right. right. And that's how many per acre? It's the next one over. One to the east of oh, yeah. Jersey right. Street, right. and the other one's just right here. And how many to the acre in there, Which Doug, on a city problem. zoning? Yeah. Five to the one? Uh, yeah, how many? It's five. Five to the acre. And this is one per five. It seems like that's a transition, and I don't know. It just seems logical to me. But What is there there that's going to want to? Who else has been talking? Well, you got the piece off Casterville Road going north. On this side. Let's go back to the one. Doug, can you change it, the one that shows the parcels and what zone they're in? If, no, there's another one. That one right there? No. Yeah, go back, back, go back one. No, the other way. <laughs> Sorry, that one right there. So everything in green you're saying is five. No, oh, this no. is zoning. That's the area. This is this, oh, that's not planning area. I was thinking that the green was in the was well, in. This is, this is all the southern planning area, but it's not zoned. Pretty much all of it is five, except for what's across six fifty. Well, not even that. Just that piece. He's so that whole thing is in central. This the is the white is central. Green is is southern. Right. No, that piece up to the north of the arrow is R85. It is R85, but it's in the southern planning. How could it be? That's in the I southern have no idea. That's what? That's in the southern planning. Okay, that's what I thought. When you pull up the other map, your other map you have. So it's surrounded by southern planning area. Show that piece. This piece of ground. Yeah. Other than that, other piece to the south. To the, to the west, yeah. The central planning area does. Which one are you referring to, Mike? Go to the central planning area and see. There's no jobs in that line. See the central planning. Oh, it is. Yeah, there it is. It is. Right it's there. surrounded by it. There's, uh, there's another map you've got that shows that going straight up there. The zoning map does. The zoning map shows Cause the R5 the one straight up here. But you're saying this is RA5? No. No, it's Southern Planning Area. Yeah, which is RA5, right? No, the RA5 is right here. Oh, okay. All right. That, that piece of the Southern is RA5. So that piece ought to be in the Central. The line ought to go straight across. This ought to be moved to Central if it's going to stay 20. I mean, we could do that. Oh, at the same time. Let's do that. Let's realign that boundary, make it so it has, makes more sense along 650 South. But this is the well. Or, I mean, we, so are you say we're talking about right? Does that mean we continue, or does that mean yeah. we deny, or does that? I mean, we got to have a motion to do something on, on this. Let's, let's don't deny it because we don't want him to have to wait till July. Let's just continue it. Let's get working on changing that line across 650 South and making it clean, and making all that RA5 right in through there. It could be if they wanted to. Well, put it in Southern. Yeah, put it in Southern. And then, it, and then that has a five-acre zone that goes along with it. Yeah. I like the transition myself a little better than that, but... Well, I you think want, it allows the yeah, transition. Yeah, do you... Are you... Uh, well, I guess the motion on this would be in order, then, if that's what... Unless uh, somebody else has some other steps they have to take to change that boundary. Uh, we will need to advertise for a general plan amendment, map amendment... Um, and then a rezone of that area. Mm -hmm. you well, how many lots for this is a rezone, and nobody showed up, right? Yeah. 
I remember back when we adjusted this, it was plan I was planning commission, not council then, but it was there were quite a few folks in here. Wayne Tack was one of them that was wanting that five acres, and obvi for obvious reasons, same reasons that these yeah, folks wanted it. He smoked it into Riley. <laughs> <laughs> well, but but only part of it. So, but I guess I guess there were quite a few that were in favor of a five acre, and some that weren't, obviously. But we didn't have a. It wasn't like a north field swelling. I guess is the is the same. What I was trying to say. Okay. Well, uh, if we have a motion either way, I'm. Unless somebody has more questions for Doug or Mr. Harris. No. I don't need to work that. Okay. Make a motion to uh, continue this item to uh, a f future date. We won't give it a, a date, date uncertain. Uncertain. And uh, recommend that we go in and take a look at the southern and the central planning areas and realign and adjust that boundary and go through the proper steps and maybe instruct Doug to help us out there. Okay, we, that's a motion. Or would we be better off making a motion to deny this one and we and request they come back with the boundary adjustment where it's already been advertised? Just have them alone come in with the boundary adjustment and then the rezone along with that? Mm -hmm. I think where you're picking up other properties, though, don't we have to do that at our end? Level. They came, well, that's kind of what you're doing right now. If they came in with an application, we wouldn't have to rezone everything, and we could do it. Well, that's what we got in front of us, in my opinion, is just theirs, annexing into the southern. So that basically, so the, I mean, the, the difference I see is that we're going to have to advertise for everybody west of this piece yeah. and let them know what's going on. Um, if, if you directed the applicant applicant to come in and do a boundary adjustment on his property alone and then the rezone would follow that and run concurrently then um, is that better for them and less isn't that basically what we have though because you told them we you change it then we'll change that boundary. yeah that's the way I read yeah, this the, is the problem is, is we'll have to advertise that as a okay. general plan amendment so what you're almost saying is we ought to prove them tonight and then go for my vote is you're you're putting this in a planning area that surrounds it currently, and that's what you're doing. And with that comes the five acre zone. Right. So, but it's in the conditions that way. You're basically doing that for this applicant only. With, and we see I, everybody's I, I been notified. Hesitate voting on it and changing the zone with it being in, in the central zoning area. Well, I, my recommendation, if you're going to go your route, Steve, would be um, continue it. Come back with a concurrent application of rezone and boundary adjustment to the region, to the planning to the region. Planning. And do we need to take care of this little piece too to get it in the right area? I don't know if that was someone that applied for that. I don't know why we would go up there. And I don't think we're we'll around that. that. We did. I we have, take it back. We have a motion. Oh, I'm a confused. Isn't that yeah. what I just said? Yeah. Is, is did he motion? say what you're suggesting? The motion is is to continue and come back with a. I, that's the way I understood it. Yes, but I don't. What, did you? Do you disagree with his motion? What, that that's the same thing. Okay. Maybe I didn't hear it right. But if that's the case, that'd be my recommendation. If you don't want to do a global thing. But you're recommending that we just come back with a boundary change just for our piece. Yeah. Versus the whole. That's, I think that's what that what you're throwing in there. And I was yeah. saying. Sorry. Was you're you're talking about the whole planning yeah. area. Yeah. But do we need to deny this request? No, I, th I think you could continue it and have them come back on the same agenda. On the same agenda. I don't want to make them have to reapply. So what we would do is adjust the boundaries. If the adjustment to the planning area passed, you could then go ahead and make this. Or you could run this, pick this item back up, even if it didn't pass. Common sense would tell you it wouldn't pass either if you didn't make the adjustment. But at least you then have the, uh, the ability to adjust the area first and then and then do the RA5 at the same time. Yeah, but, but on our end, why would we come back with a vendor change anything more than what our piece is? That's, all, is what you have. that's all we'd ask you to do. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what you have tonight. I, I, agree, with, I agree with him. That's what we've already done. Can we make it the line? We, can we adjust it further? Or do we have to have his application say, because I... I if we're going to make a boundary, I think the boundary ought to be, I'd love it for the boundary to be the Mason-Dixon line. Something that is a straight line. There's obvious reasons why we wouldn't go further. Why we Just so we don't chip away at it in a piece of time. It would be awesome to say the canal, like Steve said, the canal to me seems too far to the west. 
but I mean, it would be it would be really nice to to pinpoint on a line and why we did that line, so that we don't just chip away with it. Because realistically, that is my concern. But this is right next to bypass. Five acre lot zoning is probably not a problem there. But if we are starting a chipping away, then it, it is a problem. So if we can't come up with a reason for a line and why it's that way, that would, that's where my concerns would be. Mine too. So I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. I want to make sure we yeah. handle that because we have to. So so we're still in discussion mode. My, my concern would be that we, and if the attorney's office said we're fine with not having to go back and advertise for that adjustment on the central and southern planning area. I would think so. But if it was everybody, if it included more property. No, I'm just talking about their application. But he's already asking for that tonight, isn't he? In my mind, yeah. that's what we're are. That's yeah. kind of what's in front of us right now. But I'm all right. My only because is, of that. Uh, can we, as a legislative body, make that boundary change without having a public hearing? That's that's my question in my mind too. Isn't that what we had tonight? Was a public hearing? Yeah, we, we did. Oh, on we this application, we weren't talking about the change. Yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah, we are. Based on the findings and conditions of the planning commission, it's in there as a, as an item listed at from the planning commission. Third from the bottom item yeah. says that this to approve. That was why I went back to it at the beginning. It's in you. you it went it is that. in the findings of our staff report. Um, the question is. Legally, do we need to go back oh, and advertise that? Or not? Well, and, and Scott uh, had family in town and asked me if he could bail on us, and I so said, why, "Sure." Why don't we do this? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be fine. So why why don't we do this? Why don't we table this? We've had the public hearing. Table it and get that answer from the attorney's office. Okay. If we don't have to have a public hearing to change boundaries, but it was advertised like it was. Then have them come back, and we just make the change, and we could forward. just do that on a, on a four o'clock agenda at our next meeting. Yeah. So I I, I kind of like that because I'm I'm with you. If we can do it, that makes sense. It's what we're at, what we're talking about doing anyway. But so if not, the motion. I'm so we're tabling for a motion by Mr. Farrell to table this until we get the legal opinion from Mr. Sweat to come back and make sure we've followed the. Procedures is that fair? Uh, second by Mr. Peterson. Any discussion on the motion? Could uh, in the meantime, sorry. Just no, you're good. you're good. Could, in the meantime, could planning look at maybe reasoning or some verbiage of why we're going to put the line where we are? That could be for could be guidance for future never councils and planning committee. Well, I mean, we can't say that, but yeah, I, I, I we're just going to chip away at it, and I would love to have reasoning for why. I mean. You look at that purple line, I could make a 45 right across there and cut those four pieces in, and is there a reason why that purple line is where That's it's a great point, runs? because if you if you come back and change that boundary, and we say it's going to be at 650, the findings probably ought to say, here's the reasons why. You know, the water table's different, or whatever. Right. Um, because, guaranteed, like I said, someone's going to come in on that north side and want to have the boundary move up there. There's four small lots that are just their own little peninsula, I wouldn't have any heartburn as long as they were moved into the planning area. What he's saying is you could yeah. take this purple line and run it right there. Yeah, one piece is a, is a really big piece that's yeah. right this there one? That would be to the left. That could be our Yeah, you can make the case to put that whole thing in the five acre, or in the south area. You could about run your line like this and up and across. You hate to or go. do you go all the way up and put this piece I'm right here? some good findings, I guess, of yeah. why we did what we so, did so that we don't just chip, 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 chip. Okay. We've got that down, Rick. Well, good, Doug, on your... Okay, we've got a motion and a second. Maybe what I, we ought to suggest is everybody go down and look at it and draw it yeah. on. I, I, think, yeah, I think I, like I went down there today and looked at it. And I'm comfortable that we can uh, probably go to the canal. And then you see the land use change. And that little squiggly line there, you think, the canal going up from that purple line? That's probably about where it's at. You're talking. Yeah, it's got to be. I just looked at it on Google Earth. It's right here. Yeah, that little squiggly yeah, line in there is where the. But does it go? To, does it go to the canal all the way to Midway Lane? Yes. It goes all the way up and into the. No, does our South Planning area, Central South Planning area, go go along the canal all the way to Midway Lane? No. No, it goes okay. to South. Field I mean, is that what you're proposing? Yes, to the, the canal, or just 650 to the canal? Yeah, because anything north of uh, 650. 650 is more of the metal. Metal type high water table, but you get 
south of it, you got wheel lines that are air, sprinkler irrigated. You can see where they cut out off. And that large piece with the canal, that's also meadow or is that wheel line? I don't remember. I drove. It's meadowy. Then. I think the farther west you get, it you gets get, a little more wet. Meadowy get, too, yeah. Yeah, you get west of the canal, it gets pretty rough. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion on the motion? Everybody understand what? Are you continuing it to November? Um, table until you get your answers. Continue indefinitely until we get the findings. A date uncertain until you and Scott have a chance to to decide how we need to proceed legally. I think was the motion. Yeah. Okay. Any more discussion? Now proceed to vote, Mr. Critton. Yes. 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 Okay. Motion carries. We're going to table that. And Mr. Harris, if you uh, will either check with Doug and we'll make sure we're communicating with you or the probes and see where we end up here. <laughs> Thank you. It could be on an agenda as early as our first meeting in November, and it could be later than that, obviously. But the next regular meeting is the first Wednesday in November. So, so what, what we're looking at is one clear line of you guys find that we don't need to advertise because of the way the package was put together on the third. You'll fall to us passing it on. What if you do, then we'll have to put it back out and grab a wide lens. Come back in out of public area on the land. On the re planning region, planning, the planning area. area. Yeah. I think. I think whatever we do, if, we, if we're going to do the changing the planning area, I think we want to do it so he doesn't have to start the application again. It just yeah. holds it. That's, I think that's, that's my intent of trying to make it. And that was, yeah, yeah. Probably my biggest concern yeah. back Yeah, I don't. No. No, that wasn't. The intent of not denying it was just that, but at least in my mind. So. Yeah, right. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have no other business. Motion to adjourn. Motion by Mr. Crittenden. Second. Second by Mr. Peterson. Yeah, the chores are done. Yeah. If you want to go, if you don't want to go, stay here. But we're all leaving. <laughs> so yeah, I mean.